Good morning. Just heading out on my weekend ride here. It's uh, this is going to be another solo ride for me today. Joy is actually she's done with her 12-week training plan, but she is uh, doing a ramp test today. So. I'm gonna be doing a about a four and a half hour endurance ride today. The sort of destination of my route is um, Fuller Mountain Road, which is in, I think it's in Kent, Connecticut. And it's a climb that I haven't done in it's probably like a year and a half. Um, haven't done it in a really long time. It was actually one of the, it was one of the first um, long rides that Joy and I did together. And back in 2019, and I had absolutely no business uh, doing that climb at that time. I was uh, pretty fresh off of uh, knee surgery and my legs were super weak um, and I remember really struggling to make it on that climb. Somehow I made it without failing but it was a real struggle and uh, haven't been there since but you know a lot has happened with our um, with our riding in terms of, you know, our fitness and just how many, how many rides we've done. So, uh, I'm interested to see how I would do on this climb now. Uh, so I'm going to give that a shot today. Uh, my total route should be roughly 63 miles. I'm, uh, Fuller Mountain is kind of like the turnaround point. So it's about 30 miles out. And then the climb itself is, the climb itself is uh, less than a mile. I think it's like point, point 0.84 miles or something. Then it's, you know, another 30 miles, around 30 miles to get back home. So that's the plan for today. Aside from the Aside from the Fuller Mountain climb, a lot of the other roads are, are familiar ones that, that we've done. Uh, the general direction of the route is to, to loop around Candlewood Lake, which we do a lot on our long rides. So the only thing really new about it is the Fuller Mountain climb. Uh, so I'll uh, fill you in on that later as I get closer. Beautiful day today. It's uh, it's a um, little after eight o'clock in the morning, and it's pretty warm already. I got the short sleeves, bibs with no uh, no leg warmers or anything, and I'm already starting to break a sweat. So I think it's going to be a warm day. Uh, beautiful though. It's uh, it's really starting to uh, spring is here and uh, really enjoying it. Hope that our viewers out there have some, some equal, equally good weather. Just making my way from New Fairfield into Sherman now. Talking about this, this route that it's, uh, I think I said it was 63 miles. But it's, uh, it's only about 4,000 feet of climbing. 
I purposely put less climbing into this route than last week because last week I had quite a bit of climbing and I just don't want to do that every week. I just, I feel like taking a break from climbing this week. I mean, not totally. There are, there's some climbing, but climbing is not the, the main theme of this route. I think I, I really just have, I have two category four climbs today. First one is Fuller Mountain Road. Second one is Candlewood Lake North. And as I said before, it's been a long time since I did Fuller Mountain. So it's pretty much just those two climbs that are kind of tough and anything else is either fl sort of flat or you know short climbs. So I stopped here at Scaticook Road to um, to refuel and also uh, just I just checked my my cell phone to check up on Joy and see if she texted me anything about her ramp test result. I'm so proud of her. Uh, she worked really hard through this training plan, and um, I'm glad that she got the result that she wanted. I mean, I think. I think that's probably even more than she was expecting, but I'll have to, you know, get the details from her later. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm about three or four miles away from the Fuller Mountain climb that I'm going to do, so I will just be getting some fueling here and then uh, kind of uh, heading over there and and then uh, hopefully remembering to uh, to record that one. I survived the Fuller Mountain road climb, but didn't really do as well as I thought I could have. Um, but yeah, oh well. Some, you know, you have some good days and some bad days. I guess today is just not one of my best days. Um, I mean, I did, yeah, my time was 7.21. I was kind of hoping to I was kind of hoping to go under seven minutes, although I didn't really know what to expect because it's been so long since I did that that climb and I didn't really remember it that well. So under seven minutes as a goal was just a total guesswork on my part. Um, so maybe seven minutes is more, um, you know, more realistic. 
but I'll, I'll check Strava later and see what my what my actual power was. That'll tell me, you know, whether or not I I did better or worse than you know than I could have done. All right. Well, I'm getting attacked by uh, mayflies here, so I probably should start getting back on the bike and. Uh, Roughly halfway done with the ride now, and going to uh, descend. This Fuller Mountain Road actually connects to Skiff Mountain Road, which we also climb um, and do workouts on. So I'm now going to descend the Skiff Mountain, the longer side of Skiff Mountain. now. It's uh, one of two dirt roads today. Scaticook was the first dirt road and now River Road. Uh, they're both quite bumpy today. They're, uh, they're not always this bumpy. Um, I'm not sure if it has something to do with, with the rain, how much it rains or doesn't rain, but sometimes we go through here and it's, it's not too bad. And then sometimes it's uh, very bumpy. It's, today's pretty bumpy, so kind of uncomfortable to ride on. And I'm trying to, trying to go pretty slow because one time on this road I got a puncture and uh, that's never fun, so I'm not, not looking to do that today. So I'm just gonna let my speed come down during this section and then try to make up for it a little bit. Try to make up for it a little bit when I get to um, Route 7. And I mean, Frankly, Route 7 isn't that much less bumpy, even though it's paved. Um, but should be able to go a little faster on that. At least I was able to go fairly fast on South Kent Road before I got here, because that's uh, pretty well paved. So that was a nice change. Nice sort of change of scenery compared to a uh, fuller mountain climb. So Candlewood North will be coming up after, when I finish River Road here, get on Route 7, then I'll be getting on Candlewood R Road North. And I think I'm just gonna kind of, you can't really noodle it because it's like a 9% average grade. Um, but I'm not gonna be going for any PRs on that one. Based on how I felt on Fuller Mountain, I don't have my A game today. So there's no sense in trashing myself just to, you know, to, to either not get a PR or, you know, get like 
to get a new PR by one or two seconds. It's not really worth trashing myself at the end of the ride for. Um, obviously my obviously my legs are not fresh today. If I didn't uh, didn't do as well as I wanted to on Fuller Mountain, so I'm just going to kind of. get back to the house and try to maintain, you know, a decent pace, but, you know, still get some endurance work in, but not going to be going too hard on the Candlewood climb. So it is now Monday and I didn't get to finish recording the video of my ride yesterday because when I was just about to finish riding on River Road, I uh, ran over a pretty big pothole or, or something that caused my bike to really shake hard and the what happened was the the mount that attaches the camera to the stem of my bike snapped off and so the camera fell uh, so not a whole lot happened after um, after I finished up on River Road just headed back uh, through New Milford and Brookfield and Danbury and then got home um, at that point in the ride I was uh, feeling kind of tired and um, it was pretty warm yesterday so I was starting to feel pretty hot at that point actually and um, I, I was staying well hydrated uh, throughout the ride but I guess it's really the first I would say truly warm weather day that that I've had an outdoor ride so far this year so yeah, I, f I felt pretty warm at that point and just kind of wanted to get home as, as quickly as I could. The ride as a whole, it was uh, it was pretty solid. It was came out to be 65 miles and uh, 5,000 feet of climbing. I, I didn't have any problems, you know, doing zone two power, but I just didn't have any high end power yesterday. Um, so I wasn't too happy with my performance on Fuller Mountain Road, but aside from that, the ride was, uh, you know, pretty solid. Um, you know, I had pretty good uh, average speed, and so the, for a ride that's about 100K, um, you know, that's, that's pretty solid for me. So I also just wanted to leave you with a few thoughts that I, I had now that I've done more solo rides, I guess my, my thoughts on it are that uh, I, I still prefer to ride with someone else, uh, particularly Joy. Um, I still enjoy riding together and uh, spending that, that time together. Uh, so I'm really uh, happy that uh, she'll be joining me on these long rides again. Um, now that she's done with her training plan. So I'm really looking forward to to doing long rides together now. You know, riding by yourself, that's all on you. So you, you have to pay attention to what's around you in every direction. Uh, I've really started to feel more in touch with, with my surroundings when I ride outdoors. And so I just, I have a better feel for um, you know how to how to navigate around, how to how to control the bike, how to ride safely. Uh, so that's all been positive. So that's kind of my my thought on the the solo riding. It I think it had a benefit for me, but I'm also glad that it's sort of coming to an end. I mean, I'll I'll probably I'm sure I'll do a solo ride at some point in the future when. Uh, Joy's schedule and my schedule doesn't happen to sync up, uh, but I'm really looking forward to getting back out there together and um, and experiencing the different routes and everything together. Yeah, all right, well, that's uh, about all I got 
uh, for this week. So uh, I hope that, that all of you are doing well. And until next time, enjoy your rides.